boyfriend eventually, and they were the heroes of the story. They were always the first person you, you know, you picked up into the party. You they were always, the, yeah, I was always, Kim came in later. She was always the healer. She never got to win anything. And it kind of sucked, you know? You were smiling way too much over here, Jenny. I'm sure you were to throw in like, a lot. Like, it's true. It's true. It's true. Too. And, you know, and it sucked, and it wasn't until, I, I got away from consoles for about 10 years. And it wasn't until places like Bioware started coming out with Dragon Age where I got to be the dark, you know, the warden where I got to have the sword and I got to make the guy, you know, fall in love with me and I got to make the decisions and I could be queen or I could be a warrior and I could do what I wanted. And that was really fantastic for me to pick up a game like that and be able to play. It sucks when you never see a representation of yourself. And I'm a white woman, so I get that there's a representation of myself in a lot of stuff. But it sucks when the things that you're passionate about aren't passionate about you and that's depressing and nobody wants to see that it's hard to pick it back up and be able to care about it if you're at best a supporting character yeah. and so I'm very happy to see that this is something that people are starting to realize and they're starting to recognize and they're beginning to try to evolve on it and were you going to say something? Uh, one of the weird things I am not be saying weird it's funnier than anything is whenever I see a woman in a powerful position, and we're going to use Captain Janeway, That's like in a heartbeat, we really are. Um, <laughs> I don't even want to say it. I feel empowered <laughs> whenever I see a woman in power. You know, it's just like, is, is it weird? Is, am I, am I no, feel, I okay, I, then you're agreeing with me. Because you're just like, yes. I used to yes, be the best you know. I always pick girl characters in right. my case. They're faster. They're always yeah. the best. <laughs> they're they're always. I mean, they're always faster. Yeah. Josh, can, can I say something? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Josh Whedon. Okay, so I mean, he turned in, all in the world In the world of Elflandia that I created here, right, um, which is completely different and totally addresses what we're talking about here, the elves are ruled by an elven queen. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. All of the elves are ruled by one elven queen. And the reason for that is because typically throughout history, and I, I study ancient history as well, you said you in the history too, is that Lord. most of the time typically it's because combat and males and men and physical strength, right? Yeah. Seems to go on a certain way. Yeah. But in my world, it's highly magical. And so they're not lying on every street corner, but it pick is. up a giant strength belt and you're able to throw a car. Awesome. Okay, so there's your equalizer right there. Which Magic, is one of my see? problems with Pacific Rim. I mean, if anybody saw Pacific Rim here, and I, oh. I know the writer um, on Twitter because I'm a nerd, but um, awesome there was not a lot of. There was only two women. They didn't interact with each other, so it wouldn't pass the Bechdel test for anybody oh, who's God. familiar with that. But they, the fact that there were only two female Jaegers, it relied on nothing but strength. Everybody could have been. a female pilot because it oh, was sure. all built into the machine. It didn't matter yeah. that I couldn't pick up a I, giant Actually, the, the reason block. I did this, what you just mm -hmm. said is history. That's the key right there, is that if you look backwards in history, you look at World War II, you look at Russia in particular, yeah. they put women in the most dramatic and, mm -hmm. and hero-driven positions. Actually, if you look at their sniper school, for example, this is the type of research I do. And this is Russia. This is Russia, yeah. There's oh, some of their most yeah. deadly oh, snipers. I'm learning. No, some of their most deadly <laughs> snipers were women. Why? Because they were more patient than the male snipers. Awesome. That's why. And, and when it came to the physicality of just shooting the, the gun, that sort of thing, it became less of a physical thing. Right. Also, some of their best pilots, same thing, more patient. Their fighter pilots, women. Yeah. Yeah. They're called, particularly the, the Russian ones are called the Night Witches. Uh, as that's, yes, uh, I know the term, yes. yes. And, so, um, yeah. and so I want to chime in quickly, because I know, uh, you know, you know, Kimberly referenced the, the Bechtel test, which I think, mm -hmm. I, it's important that everyone knows this test. Yes, for anyone who doesn't know it, what it is, is in media, you know, specifically movies or TV shows, that there's two women characters, so Jenny and I up here, two women <laughs> characters, <laughs> we have names, my name Kimberly, her name's Jenny, and we're going to talk about each other, to each other about something other than a man. A lot of things do not pass that. In most movies, if women are interacting, they're interacting about men in the movies, men in their lives. We rarely talk about anything Men in between you, oh my god. Yeah, we rarely, <laughs> but we rarely talk about anything in movies except other, you know, except men, and if we're in competition for them, if we're talking about them because we want to be in relationships with them. And like, particularly Pacific Rim, I was very disappointed that there were two women Jaegers. They were named, but they never even interacted with each other. No. And it was kind of disappointing. I think they walked through a lunchroom together. But they never actually no, talked to no, each other. No, they never even did that. I think and they might have. On top of that, you know, <laughs> the Russian the, lady watched uh, 
something, yeah, like something. something. Like they yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Fight with each other, would that have been interaction? They will well, no. Decide. And even still, and you you bring up yeah. a good point. Even if they do have to interact with someone, they're normally fighting, aren't they? Like, oh yeah. Because right. they're fighting for men. What? Well, we how just hard talked about this last night. About, if there are like, two women in a room, they're normally just fighting with each other. There's nothing a woman can st can't stand more than. Yeah, but that's how. That's how. Can we name right. them? Right. 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 We're taught, that, we're, taught that all resources, we're taught that all resources are very limited. There's only so many good men out there. There's only yeah. so many good jobs out there. And as a woman, yeah, you're game, in competition right? with the other women for it, so you're going to hate that bitch. Honey, that's how I talk about the world, too. Right. <laughs> but it's also very, very similar. Yeah, very similar. Men to find women. Right. Yeah. It's very similar. and But that's not how it has to be, and that's not even how it is. Talk but about that's, it is that way say in some here. Sure, it of is course. Like but then some, we can also sometimes it's because media is right, and I can well I can talk about yeah. Yeah. internalized patriarchy all day long. Nobody wants to hear that. It's writing. Right. Yeah. Right. Because it actually, well, yeah. several of the movies it's last year that you know, like nobody will come see. You know, they they say this all the time. Nobody's going to come see a female superhero movie. Nobody will see a Wonder Woman movie. Nobody will see any of that. It, before, right. Right. before, but, like, wait, wait, wait. before before you jump on that bench, yeah. So you know, we talked about looking at history for a lot of this too, right? Mm -hmm. and there were, even in our current U.S. military, women just now can serve on submarines. Right. Women just only by 2016 will be able to serve in combat roles. Right. right. In the United right. States. Do you know? Right. Um, right. What is her name? I, I just looked, the, 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 looked this up the other day. She is the highest right. soaking. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Nana Maya? Yeah. Right? So Maybe I don't know. Maybe I don't know. What is her name? Uh, Isn't it something like Nana Maya? Yeah. She wasn't the highest ranking when I was in No, the no, she is now. She yeah. just got to that position. Yeah. You oh, know, the Navy. I think mean, she is. Is she the CNO? Chief Naval Operations? Yes. Yes. I'll look it up. The correct answer for history is Booty Gun. Wait, do you know the answer to this? What is her name? I, she's I can't the remember. Chief she's the chief naval officer. Uh, she just rose to their ranks. So. It doesn't matter. We're okay, focusing sorry. on minutiae. Exactly. <laughs> minutiae. <laughs> okay. What are you going to say? I was going to say back to the, the gaming thing, too. Y'all are going to laugh at me. I was probably one of the few people that played Metroid, and at the end, when you finally they take off all the equipment, I was the only one going, oh my god, it's a girl. Thank yeah. you. Yay. Thank you. Yes. But it's like throughout the whole movie, it's like it's Samus. Yeah. So it's like you literally went through the whole game and then you realized. And it really kind of made looking like playing it with my guy friends. And we get to that part and you either get the comments of, oh, look, she's in a bathing suit, or, ah, right. oh, I was playing as a girl the entire time. Even when you think about it, wait, wait, even when you think about it, the whole marketing strategy of Metroid, you know, it's built in this mech suit that looks like a man. And you never see you what never she looks know. like. And, and this is what. This come out First late eighties, early nineties. Yeah. yeah, you know, and this their marketing whole strategy, i.e., you don't know it's a woman until you beat the game, until you've already bought it, until you already. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's something similar. With solid you. into our product, whatever you go. Oh, it's a girl, or whatever. I and this place to my own stupidity probably didn't even know that she it was a woman until I was maybe like fifteen. But you know, I never really no. played it and didn't beat it until I was fifteen. Um, <laughs> on the same vein as, as, as female gamers, how do you feel about the whole, I've seen a bunch of posts about this, about the whole armor situation. How women... Right, because my armor is made where you can see my boobs, my armor's yeah. not waved to actually be able yeah. to protect myself from anything that would kill oh, me. Oh, it's not just made to like, Enhance show you my boobs, boobs. it's made yeah. to accentuate yeah. them. Yeah, exactly. Not that we don't... Right, I mean, and, then, and then the pose, I know that I don't know the poses, the poses you know, right. if like I'm this. a woman... <laughs> Right. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. really oh no, <laughs> no. Well, I was remember. I remember the one show that addressed this. This doesn't sound really weird. It's Disney Channel, even Stevens. I remember this episode <laughs> clearly, clearly. <laughs> and going to the side, it was about Tomb Raider. 
one of the characters, the, 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 the older sister is in his project about Tomb Raider and things like that. And she's like, you know, all you see in video games are women, you know? It's like, like, you know, Tomb Raider, she keeps on like getting dark rock and blue more and more by the time, I think by the time she just basically had like a little string on. Right. Yeah. If you look, new one. If you look at a game like League of Legends, which is massively po uh, popular, Catalina. Well, every single woman in there, her, their boobs are out, and they just yes, they the most recent women champion came out. They wanted to go to a new direction. So after about seventy women in the game, they now have one who's fairly flat chested and not shoving her boobs out. Right. Which so is took, still out of skin. Though. Yeah, but it, it took right. like sixty-five, seventy champions to finally have one where they wanted to go a different direction. Right. And yeah. realized that that's Actually, not. I think me and you were having this conversation about Princess Peach. Remember that one? I drink a lot, I don't remember. <laughs> 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 we were, yeah. That's why you, that's why you come I my, big, my big funny thing is I like to cosplay. I think when they first met me, I was I kind of fluttered through the room wearing a fairy costume, just to be funny. Um, you were trying to fit in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we ended up having this detailed conversation because somebody was like, well, since we're a gamer theme, you should dress up as Princess Peach. And I'm like, Okay. Why do I have to be Peach? And they're like, yeah, and they're like, well, you know, and you can wear something cute. And, um, and my comment to it was, why does it have to be Princess Peach? Because if you notice in all the games, and maybe it's just me, I don't really particularly care how she's betrayed because she's betrayed as this dumb bond who is incapable of saving herself. If you always notice, Mario has to go get her. The only game that she's in where she does something effective is Smash Brothers Brawler Mario Kart. But he knows that she still has to drive a pink car. Have you seen the footage that every game after um, Super Mario World 3 is actually Bowser's getting Peach and Mario's help babysitting oh, yeah, yeah. the little the baby Koopa? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
So Jenny, you're a powerful woman. Now you're a bitch. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Yes. I agree. Because if you're if you're a boss, if you're a woman, you're not you know. You're a boss bossy. bitch. You're a boss. That's you're what a you bitch. are. You take control. You're a ball buster. That's the big one. Mm -hmm. And and that's just. But those same words would not be applied to a man in your position. Yeah. He would be commanding, and he would be respected and to be admired. While I'm a horrible ball busting bitch, and that's not even remotely the same thing. Yeah. And, and how, how often do you run into that? Because. Jenny and I's personality runs very, very parallel with each other. Like, I'm a very straight edge person. I don't know if some of you know me. Um, <laughs> this one might have got me a 30th birthday prep, birthday cake that says, you asshole. Um, that wasn't just me. <laughs> that wasn't just me. Yeah, no. No, but what are you saying? But what I'm saying is, bitch be tense. The way I react to people, people are like, oh, he's just that way, or whatever. When she does the same thing, you're what? Oh, I'm a bitch. You're like, such a bitch. Like, flat you're out. Mm. Cold? Yeah. And I just caught him more. I got in trouble for just saying this one time, and it, to me it was hilarious, because I wasn't even trying to be offensive. Someone asked my opinion, and unfortunately, yes, I am blunt. So if you ask me a question, I'm going to give you my answer. And it's like, if you didn't want the truth and you didn't want my opinion, why you. did you ask? Yeah, yeah, you, I feel you can relate. You know yeah. that I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Yeah. And you know, don't people want to know the truth? Yeah. If you're going to come out there and you look ridiculous, don't you want someone to say, listen, that's not the look for you. Try, Thank but you. they yes. wanted to say, no, you should try this because purple is not your color. No, that's not the look for you. I'm yeah. telling you from love. Is that so bad? No. I don't understand. Yeah. Tell you love from love or, you know, my aesthetic appeal. Yeah. You know, I tell that to Travis every morning. I say, <laughs> But there's definitely a lot of, too, like, taking back to the armor. Um, I forget the name of the major publishing company for comic books. So if you're a comic book owner, you buy all your comic books through this distributor. And um, they recently were at... Uh, Comic Con in San Diego, and one of their writers for their staff on their blog for their website for the publisher where these people spend their money, like posted how he was really glad that girls finally got into the cons because of the fashion because they look so pretty that like now they're at the con and now they can look at some pretty girls. Now, and you right there, you right there. What's your name? Ashley. Ashley, you look so pretty. I'm so yeah. glad you made this yeah, con Yeah, thank look you for better. coming and looking pretty in the con. And not How does, yeah, yeah, like, thank I'm, you. I'm, 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 in, I'm engaging you right now. Please don't speak. Yeah. Right. 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 So who we were going to have, one of the people we were going to have. I don't know, because they didn't say I was pretty.